What's up, my seven friends? My name is Ryan McKee Bro, and I am so sorry for the lack of videos that should have been gone out last week, as in Overview Wednesday and Turbo Vlog. Now, I know I didn't give you this update because I was supposed to give you this update last Thursday, but I'm giving you it today. From how I how it looks. I'm going to be extending the Q&A from every week to every month. So then it gives you gives you guys time to think of, you know, questions that you would like to ask me. It also gives me time to actually think about them. So, yeah, so in replacement of the Q&A every week, I will be doing Turbo Vlogs, which is pretty much giving you an update of what I've been doing this week. I was meant to tell you that last week. And I also missed a TNT episode, and I'm actually recording this on a Wednesday, and uploading it on a Wednesday. So, yeah, there's been a lot going on here, but I will tell you most of it on Turbo Thursday, which is tomorrow. But here's a very, very late TNT episode for you. This is all about piercings and how I would do them. So, ooh. Oh, sorry. Good chat. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and this tutorial, and I'll see you in the episode. So, here we are again. Right. You probably remember this 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 woman right here. Um, I actually pretty much finished her. I did all her green stuff and stuff just to whack that out of the way. She's already got a piercing here. But I'm gonna show you the preparations of me doing a piercing and also how I actually put in the piercing. Right. So as you know, not normal monster high dolls have you know holes in them. You're ready for piercings. But, the one key thing I use for actual piercings is I use push pins. Now the secret about push pins is, it's not just a spike inside. I will show you. Right, so first I grab a pliers, like so. And then I melt, using a lighter as you can see. Once it's set on fire, I could blow it out and then well that worked there you go and then put it out right so oh. I dropped it guys I dropped it I'm sorry I am a I dropped another push pin too <laughs> right let's try this again but you guys know what I do now. I mean, I dropped that goddamn piece of pushpin, so hold with with pliers like that. Try and get it light. Come on, go. It's on fire. Wait about three seconds, and then pop. Pushpin just comes right off. Now, before I drop this motherfucker, move this up a bit. Now this is what's the well, this is the pin inside the pushpin. As you can see, it has this little flat edge right there, which is perfect for putting into the faces of dolls. As you can see here on her lips, I'm going to be doing under breath, but it has to be done in two different points. Obviously, she has a mouse cl mouse cl ow. I just got electrocuted by my own goddamn pliers. But as you can see here, she has two of the little push pins in her mouth and at the bottom of her mouth and those have been there for a while because the holes need to kind of you know let's see if I can get a close to that there we go hopefully you can see that okay right so I took the liberty of make ow why am I getting I took the liberty of making a little bit of piercing now the these little tongue bits here these are actually for like length so that actually keeps it in and I made these out of a paper clip so you just take 
one like little bit here and you just go around depending on what size you want it depending on how round you need it so what I would do is I'll do that make little tongs like that and then cut it like here so it kind of matches but I'm going to show you how I put these in so I take one push pin out because that's been in there for a while then what I do is I put the longest down in that middle I'm going to use my fingers here okay so <laughs> if you need to squeeze the head okay so now that's in place so now we know where we need to put it so now we put take this bit out so now she has a hole in her face so you put longer tongue in there and you just push <laughs> I'm sorry this video is such a mess but if you need help just squeeze the head for it excuse sorry for a little bit of an encouragement Normally I have strong pliers for this. You just push it in. And there you have it. You actually now have a piercing. So now when it comes to like nose piercings, so like septum piercings. Okay, what you do <laughs> my poor dolls. Is I lost one of the pins again! Oh my god! This video is not going to pan, but I'm still going to upload it because I love you guys. So I take two push pins. I'm actually going to keep the plastic on it because I can't keep destroying this. So I put, this is for septum, I put one in one nostril and another in another nostril. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I know, she looks really funny at the moment. But I use these metal pliers here to cut the desired shape. Well, not shape, desired um, length off. So, what I'm going to do is now this is the septum. With the septum, I prefer them to be the same length, but I'm going to uh, take these out now. <laughs> this poor doll. And then shove these up her nostrils. I know this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. And you should not do this by yourself. Well, not by yourself. You should not do this to yourself. That is the word. Because this might actually hurt you. But you just shove the prongs straight up this poor girl doll's nostrils. Like straight up, you push. This one's not being doing as it's told, but this will go in. It's just, pre <laughs> it's just pretty much trying to shove metal wires into holes that were never there before. Okay, so what I did was I made it easier for myself. I actually made this bit actual smaller. So, hopefully, this should go in easy as pie. This does take a while. Because obviously you're working with, you know, why is her hair getting stuck to her face? And she has glitter on her, great. <laughs> This does take a while. No, I haven't done as many piercings as I want to, but. I just shove it in it. There we go. Now we have business. Ah. Maybe we don't. Right. Let me just bend. I mean, adjust to how you want it to be adjust. You know, if. It's too wide. Adjust it smaller if it's too um, narrow. You adjust it like that. 
so on and so forth. You just do what you need to do. Ah! Again, this does take a little bit of just elbow grease. I mean, it should help that I had this piercing in for a good like two days. A good two to three days. So then the actual vinyl managed. There we go. So the vinyl managed to actually stretch to actually get this in. But now she has a septum around her nose and an abret. So, let's put this back up a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed making it. If there's any tips and tricks that you would like to know, do, don't be afraid to comment down below. Also, if you have questions for the q and I, I have still got the video up and ready. And if you want to ask questions, go ahead and ask. Like, I will answer anything. So, sip a coke. Not sponsored. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Where's my mouse?